Good evening, Warriors! Back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well today. Hope you guys are having a great evening. Uh, it's a little bit warmer to my liking. It's like 35 degrees. This is getting too warm. My, it's like a heat wave in this place in the Midwest. Let's get colder, my friends. Let's get colder. So anyway, hope you guys are doing well. I can't even see my breath. It's not cold enough yet. All right, so anyway, hope you guys are doing well. And hope you guys are on your plan. And hope you guys are continuing with this conquest of yourself to become the best person you've become. And we've talked about it a lot of times on our channel. It is important to understand that you have to be a masculine male. Someone who is strong. Someone who is able to protect society, the world. Not get run over some like Wusshead, who's a warrior who thinks they're a warrior or not. You need to know how to be able to handle yourself, obviously, to be able to kind of get things done and be that strong person who's not affected by emotions, but by thought and by your self-control. And so, as we talk about this idea, and we talk about a lot of things connected here, obviously the Fountain of Youth by Kelder is one of the things we talk about a lot. But we also talk about other things that can help your semen retention journey. And when we talk about semen retention, we're talking about the basis foundation of what's important when it comes to retention. That is allowing you to have self-discipline and allowing you to learn how to control yourself. And once you control yourself, then other things fall in place. Money falls in place. All the other types of things around you fall in place. And you're able to succeed at a much higher level with business, with work, with athletics, with women, with men, depending if you're a woman or not. And we have some women on the channel, so I always welcome uh, ladies on the channel as well. It's important to realize that self-control is something that's universally difficult for people. Going back to Adam and Eve and going back to the idea that you know pleasure is something that people seek. But a person who's got all pleasure, as the Bible talks about, I think it's Proverbs, talks about the idea that pleasure is a no-win situation. You can never win if you're only going for pleasure. Because eventually, the pleasure will catch up to you and nothing will be pleasurable for you. Because you're so inundated with the pleasure that you're not really understanding that it's the hard work that's creating the joy, the succeeding, the faith, the sacrifice with God that's important. So as we talk about this, we had a couple interesting type questions. I'm going to kind of combine these together a little bit because uh, uh, Suave901, and shout out to you, my friend, asked the question, does semen retention help hair grow? Uh, I think thinning hair is what I was kind of referring to. And then also digital validity, shout out my friend to you as well, asking about shampoo and toothpaste when it comes to uh, seam retention. So let me kind of give you my thoughts and my feelings on this. And like I said, I don't have scientific proof uh, as far as what science is or what we may think it is and uh, the, the studies that people may have done. However, I'll give you my rec my recollections of things in my life and how we affected, you know, this this type of thing. So, I feel that uh, I have changed my viewpoint over the years. I I was very much into all kinds of shampoos, hair conditioners, all kinds of things, um, you know, in my life to enhance what my beauty was or so-called beauty was, or I thought my beauty was. As a warrior, I realized there was all a bunch of fake malarkey. In fact, we walk around this earth in an illusion, which is why there's major money in things like cologne and perfumes. People are not happy smelling the way they normally smell, so they have to kind of brighten this up, and it goes back to this temptation of the aroma of everything. So not in many cases, I don't really focus on those type of things anymore. So I will tell you 
what I, I end up doing. Now, as far as shampoo, hair conditioner, and those type of things that Digital uh, Velocity uh, is talking about. Oh, I'm sorry, Digital Validity. I'm sorry, Digital Validity. Sorry about that, Digital. Yeah, Digital Validity. Um, the idea is that I take a cold shower every morning, and I end up using a shampoo, but it's got, it's not, I was allergic for a long time with my hands and other things with shampoo. So I don't take, I don't use shampoos that have a lot of things in them, fragrances and things like that. So I do everything all natural. So my shampoo in the morning, when I take my cold, ice cold shower, it's turned to the full faucet. I've been doing that for the last two years now since I've been on this streak. And it's cold in the morning, my friend. There's no doubt about it. Especially when we get to nice weather like this, like five below, those type of things. It's cold. But it is refreshing as you know what. And the shampoo I use seems to help my hands and my allergic reactions. So I don't use that stuff anymore that I used to use. Now, as far as hair grows, if you see, uh, you may see some of my earlier videos I did not have a beard for 58 years. I only started growing a beard when I started going on a streak. And so basically, I, I stopped for a while, I cut it off, thinking I'll go back to the way I looked, and I did not feel comfortable with it anymore. And so I grew the beard back. And so I love having a beard. I also have read things and research talking about how there's a lot of... Uh, it can help you, especially with the sun. It can help you with D3. There's a lot of uh, vitality when it comes to um, having a beard and the hair. And there probably is something to that as well. And so this is why I grew the beard. And so I have not noticed any sort of negative effect when it comes to um, you know thinning of the hair. Now, my hair is probably a little thinner than it was when I was 20, but I'm 61. So that's probably a natural type of thing. But again, I always go back to the Fountain of Youth and Kelder. One of the things that that book and those exercises do is it's supposed to be making your hair strong. And that's one of the ideas about the, vert the, the, um, the chakras and the vortex is moving around. In your head, in your throat area, those things are supposed to keep you strong. And as you do those exercises every day, those whirling types of chakras will keep that moving and so you're not going to have that that look like you're you're an old person ready to go. And so the warrior then looks stronger every day because they continue these type of exercises. And so my hair has actually grown uh, probably just as well as it's always been. And once again, I will say this, and I don't know this for sure, but I'm going to say this, is that when I started this streak, or I mean I started the Fountain of Youth book with Kelder, I started in 1998, and I was probably in my late 30s. My hair, at least on top, and obviously I didn't have the beard way back then. I only started that a couple years ago. I have basically a lot of the same hair with little grays on the side than I had even back there. I probably have a little more gray, but it almost looks like everything kind of stopped in time. When we go back to what I think, and we talked about this with the youth video, is that I believe that you can slow down the process. Obviously, we're all going to die at one point, but I believe with the chakras and the fountain of youth stuff that Kendler's talking about, you can actually slow it down so that you still age gradually, which is why people can live to 120 years old. Uh, and I think that that can very much happen. I feel that way. A lot of people tend to look at me and say I'm in my, you know, probably late 30s, early 40s. And that's about the time that I started all this. And so obviously it hasn't in their minds changed me that much. Now the beard, with the grayness in the beard, I don't know what that would have looked like back in, the 19, uh, back in 1998 because I didn't have one. I didn't have one up until 2020 or whatever it is, right? So it's only been recently, but the hair is growing like that. I didn't even think I could really grow a beard to be honest with you guys. And so I tried it and I said, what the heck? You know, I'm 60, 59 years old, 58 years old. I said, what the heck? Might as well try it. And it's been great. I will never give it up again. And I'm going to continue letting it grow it. I'll probably trim it at times to do some things with it. But I love it. And I'm just happy that hair is growing.
be honest with you. And I think that is part, part of the retention thing, that you will have strong hair. Now, whether it thins or not, I don't know if there's probably a lot of factors with that, but I do think that your hair will be strong. And I think that's part of it. Now, as far as toothpaste goes, guys, we'll add one more thing into this because I know Digital uh, Validity asked about this. We talk about this. I used to have fluoride toothpaste all the time. And one of the things that this warrior had problems with all his life has been his teeth. And so I had a lot of cavities when I was in graduate school and college. I had like nine, 10 cavities and the university I was at practice on me as far as their dental school goes. And so they gave me all kinds of different things. And that's back when they were using mercury and all the types of things like that. So I don't have great teeth. However, I will say this much. Over the last five years, I have used uh, non-fluoride toothpaste, Tom's toothpaste, and it's actually been very good. I have not noticed a huge difference, and I think certainly that's something that's important. So I do wonder, when we talk about all these things that we're talking about that the <clears throat> media and society has pushed for a long period of time, is it something that's naturally good for us, or does it kind of create more problems for us? So I think it's important to kind of recognize that point. So in summary, my friends, uh, with Suave 901 talking about does the SR help thinning hair? I believe it will, my friend. I believe that your hair will not continue to go thin. And, I, and the reason I say that is because I feel that you're slowing down the aging process, especially if you're doing the Fountain of Youth exercises with SR. If you're doing it with seam retention, then it's gonna help that process. And I, don't, I think your hair will once again, like everything else in your body, get those nutrients that you're losing when you're releasing. And I think because of that, there's a good chance you're gonna keep your hair growing. Now, I don't, I'm not gonna say that for sure. I can't guarantee that, but I just know it's happened to me. And I feel like that keeping all my nutrients and not releasing has been a tremendous type of asset for me and my health has really uh, been tremendous. I've not been sick, and my hair, I mean, I have to cut my hair at 61 years old all the time because it's growing too long. My mustache gets too long, my beard's getting too long, I have to trim it all the time. So this is just amazing to me how the hair's grown. So I would say that it probably does help thinning hair. Uh, please let me know, as you see it, if you do use it, as you go down Strix Suave 901, and let me know. Uh, digital validity. Uh, shampoo and toothpaste, again, I think certainly I don't go with anything with fragrances and things in those shampoos anymore. And I also don't go with the fluoride toothpaste. I think to me that's the best deal. I don't want to put anything in my body that I can avoid that's not good for me. So I try to avoid all that I can. And so that's kind of what my approach is with this. So again, shout outs here again to uh, Suave901 and digital uh, validity. I'm sorry, I said velocity at one point, but digital validity. So thank you guys for your comments and great uh, getting some a great topic here. It's very interesting. And we're talking about shampoo and toothpaste, all these other things along that can help you with your self-control, not having things polluting your body and making your body as strong as it can be. All right, my friends, so shout out to you guys. I hope you guys have a rest of the good evening and we will talk very soon. I'm looking at my next topic that I think unless something happens, um, uh, Carl was talking about how as the empire, um, yo, oh yes, when you have empires in history, uh, those type of things, dynasties that come in, they always let people into their government that's always tempted and corrupted. And so I think we'll talk about that because that's a very interesting topic. All right. Sorry, guys. Got excited about that one. All right. So anyway, remember two things. Every day is a new day to a great warrior. And remember, guys, always to continue to take every day and battle.